welcome back for the continuation video of the platform developer one certification maintenance for the summer 2019 in the previous video we have seen all these you know, new changes in the salesforce and we have answered questions for the same in this section in this video we will go through this hands on on the platform events from the batch class so basically it's nothing but you know whenever uh, if you are running the batch job and if there is any record level error and if you want to track it capture it uh, that's what it's going to help and for that you have to use this database race platform events error and how to use it when you're declaring the bad job you also have to use this interface database dot rise platform events and uh, with that and if you can you, you can you when the when the events are raised with this interface and you can capture the same in the trigger so this is all about this change and we are going to do the hands-on i'll show you how in the trailhead i just completed it that's why you are seeing this 500 points please pardon the background noise uh, I, have, so I have no control on that so sorry about that so let's retake this challenge uh, okay so i have my playground created uh, I already have playground 6 created I have it open here and uh, okay let's follow by instructions here okay the first part is you know scroll down to the hands on challenge and create your playground trailhead playground I have done that that's pretty simple you can follow the instructions and you go to the setup enter the user find the users and note on the user and reset your password this remember this is the username and password for your playground trailhead playground not for your developer org or you know any other org which you have created for your practice but this is entirely a new playground so the usernames and username and password which you are going to reset it will be for only for the playground and also they insist here we also have to install this um, package to do this activity uh, for that we have to open in incognito mode because this is for the playground if you try to open in the same session it might connect to your developer or so let's copy this link and I have a uh, this playground open in incognito mode as you can see here and I'm going to install this manage package asking for the login I have captured it and let's this is just a temporary username and password uh, just for your playground and uh, once it logs in we will follow the instruction and install um, here we are here sorry okay so we have done this third step and on the fourth step on the login screen appears when the username and password okay this is also done and select that install for the all user and then click install once installation is complete it's done okay so okay i will skip i don't want to register my phone just for this playground Sorry about the delay, I could have set it up first, but since it's incognito mode, it's asking me uh, to log in again. But if it was in a normal session, you wouldn't have to enter your credentials. So, here as instructed, we will do install for all users and then install. Basically, it has some components like you know, uh, Apex classes and uh, test classes and everything. So once it is done you'll have to modify those apex classes and create your own trigger and <clears throat> run it so that's going to you know complete this activity once the platform event is triggered from the bad job and that being captured in the trigger uh, and it also runs the test class when you complete this activity okay this installation is done let's finish it and summer 19 hands-on challenge this is installed okay now let's go back to this instruction set okay hands-on challenge
here we are going to start that actual activity uh, so far whatever we have done is just you know uh, set up if we, if we can say that okay so your challenge is modify an existing batch epic my batch epic job to raise a batch epic error events and take an existing batch epic job class and update it to implement the database dot raise platform events interface let me copy this interface and then add a trigger and batch job event that locks the exceptions in the batch job in a custom object okay first update the batch lead convert class which you can find it here if we go to x classes this will be installed as part of the package which we have installed so this is the class batch lead convert let's go to this and let me close this unnecessary um, let me edit as instructed in this trailhead okay update the batch event to implement the database raise platform events markup interface and here i am going to add that interface as well to this batch job and save it okay so this is done without any error and let's go back and now create an apex trigger called batch apex error trigger on the batch apex error event for each event record capture the following fields and save them to the corresponding fields in your account so i have this trigger ready so for this i think most of the people are making mistake here uh, they'll create a they'll try to create a platform event and try to write the trigger for that but you don't have to do all those circles you only have to do is just go to the developer console and just write that uh, trigger let me copy this I'll, I'll put this uh, in the description so that you can copy it from there and use it for your playground okay now I'll go ahead and create a new apex trigger with the name as suggested here um, modify an existing bad job uh, let me go I have this namings should be correct because otherwise the same will be used in test classes okay name of the trigger and object batch apex error event so batch apex error event is the one on which we have to create the trigger let's go ahead and okay this is created let me copy the entire trigger into this and save it okay save yes it is saved now what basically what this trigger is doing is you know uh, after insert it's taking the trigger dot new and whatever the platform event has been raised there it is being captured here and it's capturing the apex async apex job id and the record and the stack trace so that you can add it to this object this is nothing but an object custom object which has been created as part of the package you have downloaded let's go ahead and now this is all uh, almost done we we'll just we're just going to run the test class that is in this playground we'll do it by clicking this oh sorry I would have selected uh, playground 6 but anyway even in playground 5 I have completed it should go through successfully let's wait for some it will take some time because it will run the test class yes you have got a shiny new badge on the profile so this is completed 